This video will show you the correct way to make popcorn in your gold medal popcorn machine. But before we get started, here are a few safety precautions. The machine is not to be operated by a miner. Don't touch the kettle when popping corn because it is extremely hot. Never take the kettle to the sink, immerse, or wash with excess water. And make sure you always unplug the machine before doing any kind of cleaning. Important, be sure to read and understand the operating manual for this piece of equipment. If you need an operating manual or have questions, please call us at 1-800-543-0862. First, open the doors and lower the drop panel. Then, turn on the kettle heat switch, kettle motor switch, and finally the light and warmer switch. Flip up the lid on the kettle, then open up your all-in-one Mega Pop kit containing the oil, popcorn, and salt for perfect popcorn every time. Once the kettle heats up, the popcorn will begin to pop. This will take about three to four minutes to complete. When the corn's just about done popping, grab the handle and dump the kettle. You will want to dump it twice to make sure all the popcorn falls out of the kettle. On your last batch of corn, as the kettle lids start to lift, turn off the heat switch. Then, take your popcorn scoop flipped upside down to move the popped corn over the warming tray. This will get rid of any unpopped kernels that did not pop during the popping cycle. Repeat the process for each additional batch of popcorn you want to pop. When you have finished popping, turn your heat switch off and your motor switch. You will want to leave your warmer switch on until you're done serving corn. When you're ready to clean the kettle, please allow it to completely cool down. It'll take about 30 minutes. When you're ready to remove the kettle, first unplug the kettle. Then simply lift the kettle out of the hanger arms. Next, remove the drop panel. Wipe down the warming tray. Then remove the warming tray from the machine. And finally, remove the crumb drawer. At this point, you may want to wipe down the glass and the doors with a non-ammonia-based product. And finally, wipe down the inside and the outside of the kettle with a rag. Remember, do not soak the kettle in a sink. Now your machine's nice and clean and ready to pop again another day.